Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. Today is a little bit different. Your girl is changing discipline. She's leaving the jumping behind. Today, I'm going to be doing some dressage. Will it go well? I don't know. <laughs> so today we are, well, we, by we, I mean me and Cal, are doing two dressage tests from Dressage Riders Online. Um, I really think it's so important for show jumpers to have a really good, strong foundation dressage and put a lot of focus into it because, you know, like a show jumping round is 95% flat work. Um, you're only in the air jumping for only a few seconds. So um, yeah, it's all the adjustability, the rideability in between that makes the difference between a nice smooth clear round and a dodgy round. <laughs> So today I'm going to be riding Cal, I'm going to be doing the prelim and the novice, um, the dressage Ireland test, I'll leave the actual ones down below. Um, I will record my test, I'm going to set up the dressage arena now, and then I'm going to, when I'm editing this video, I'll wait till I get my results, and then I'll voice over what um, scores I got and everything and the comments, just so that it's a little bit more interesting for you guys, and um, you can get a better sense of how I did and what the judges thought, because my version of flat work and a dressage version of flat work is slightly different. Like, I don't really know what the judges are looking for. I just like to have my horses um, listening to me, quite adjustable. And the focus for me is um, training flat work that allows us to jump better. So that might not be the most technically correct. And I don't really know what the judges are looking for, basically. So it'll be interesting to see what they think and if they have any input and tips for us. Um, and yeah, it'll be really, really good advice to take on. So I'm doing it through Dressage Riders Online, which is a website where you, you record your dressage test and then you upload it to them and they get um, official British dressage judges to judge them and mark them. And then you get to place and the rosettes or A1. <laughs> like, even if you just enter for the rosette, I don't blame you, because it's so nice. Um, and there's loads of different leagues. I'm doing the Dressage Ireland one. And um, there's also British Dressage, there's veterans, there's cobs only, there's young horses, there's off the track thoroughbreds. There's a league for a lot of horses, which is really nice because, you know, like, it's not really fair for um, people to be up against gorgeous amazing dressage horses um, and it means that anyone with any sort of horse can ride and then you'll be judged against people who are similar to you and um, so then you have like a much better chance of placing and stuff like that which is really exciting well they also have I think a British eventing dressage test um, which is good for you eventer people you brave eventers uh, <laughs> that like to do that. Um, yeah, you can do that, especially like say before the season starts, it'd be a nice little prep to see where you are and if they have any last minute tips before you start um, competing in person. So yes, that is what I'm doing today. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I've done quite a few before and they're really, really fun and I love getting the feedback. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go and set up the dressage arena now. Basically it just consists of me laying out a few poles and I have some markers. They're just these cones that I got really, really cheap online. So it's super easy to set up at home um, and you can even do it in a field or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go. First, I need to take down all these jumps that I was jumping bareback on Cal yesterday. But you will have seen that video probably like two weeks before this one. So yeah, make sure to check that out. That was really, really fun. I'm still like buzzed afterwards. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit more like relaxed and chilled. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> um, you know, a little bit safer, but um, yeah, it should still be fun. Dad's ruining my vlog. Stop ruining my vlog. Why? You're ruining it by laughing at me. <laughs> Dad's um, trying to get Wi-Fi down the yard so that we can have falling cameras for when the mirrors are falling. That is what he's doing. Alrighty, so the arena is set up. I have my little cone markers with the letters on them. Now I need to go and actually learn the tests. So I haven't learned the test yet, so I need to do that. Um, I was also just laughing because um, the letters... Um, when I was a kid, we learned that it, like how to remember the letters was all King Edward's horses cantered madly before falling. I was just wondering, do, do, do you guys like have any other weird rhymes like that? Or even ones in like other languages? 
I thought it was just funny. That's such a random rhyme. <laughs> but I still use it today to remember where the letters go. So mm, it still works. Um, also, I'm wearing my ice fill shirt from Carrots and also these ice fill f um, full breech, I think they are. They have like all this. Look, it's so cute. They're little carrots. How cute is that? And probably the best part of these leggings is the pockets because look how deep these bad boys are. Like, your phone is not falling out of that. <laughs> um so yeah it means i can always have my phone on me especially when i'm out hacking and stuff so many jodhpurs don't have good like phone pockets and it's so frustrating because i can't use them at hacking you know if i don't want to bring a jacket if it's a bit hot um so yeah these are perfect i also found an old white numna that i'm gonna wear if you're looking all snazzy and all um dressage although his mane and everything is awful he's gonna look a bit scruffy but let's hope the judges don't mind and i need to wear gloves it's one of the rules that you need to wear gloves and i always forget so don't forget. Um, okay, I'm gonna go learn, learn my tests and then I'll go get Cal. I'm trying to learn this test and it's so hard. <laughs> because I'm trying to learn two at the same time. I keep getting them so confused. Like, I don't know how you dressage riders do this because like there's nothing to remind you. Like when I'm show jumping, there's lovely big numbers um, on each jump, which will tell you what jump to do next. <sighs> I'm not so good at the letters, I'm better at the numbers. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have to, fingers crossed, hopefully dad doesn't get too annoyed if I have to keep redoing it and restarting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, go get Cal and hope for the best. So Mr. Cal is all ready. He's looking very smart. He's looking excited. I have these gorgeous gloves. They are from SSG. They're the Pro Hybrid or something like this. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I love them so much. But I never really wear gloves. So this is my opportunity. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's go warm up, Mr. Cal.
Good boy, Mr. Cow. <laughs> Treats. For the show jumper turn dressage horse. Sweeties for the dressage horse. Sweeties. You like them? He says this is not too bad, this dressage it's, stuff. It's easier than this jumping. Yeah, it's pretty. Although circle. I think he thinks it's a bit boring. Just go around the circle. I think he gets a bit more excited when there's jumps involved. <laughs> Don't you, Mr. Cow? So I just did my dressage test. I thought I'd do um, a little bit of a what I thought of it now, like straight after I've done it. And then the next clip you'll see is me talking after I got all my results and everything. So the first test, the uh, prelim, was, I thought that was really nice. Like he was um, really listening to me, really smooth. The canter is always like our weakest, like the trot is so good, so easy. He just carries himself really nicely. And then the canter he does, he's just not as like balanced or round over his back in the canter. Um, and that's something I know I need to work on because um, I, I, I've i used this app before called Equilab app. And um, I used it before in, my, in some of my videos I showed you guys. And it tells you how long you trot, canter and walk. And I do not canter at all, like I really, I do loads of walk, I do loads of trot, and then I canter like once in each rain, and I'm like, okay, that's it done. <laughs> so I'm trying to canter more, more often and get him stronger in the canter as well. Um, but yeah, it's something I definitely need to work on. The other thing, well, it's a little bit because he's moved on to a big grassy field and his belly is like full of grass. So he's not like super forward, but the upward transitions need a bit of work. He doesn't come off my leg so well. So then when I had to trot up there at A in front of the camera, like I don't think that's gonna be such a good transition. Um, but yeah, everything else, he's like super supple, really like willing, listening. The free walk and the loose rein is like his favorite thing because he just wants to drag his nose on the ground. Um, but I don't know how like, I don't know how the judges want you to do that. Like is lower better? He was a little bit behind the vertical just because my reins like literally aren't long enough. So I don't know if that'll lose me marks or if they're happy to see a horse that wants to drop its head. I don't know. And then with the novice, um, it's funny because I felt like there was a really big difference between my medium canter and my working canter. And then in the video, it really doesn't look like it. I think my working canter needs to be um, a little bit more collected um, just so that there's a clearer difference between the working and the medium. The medium trot was like nice enough, you know, he didn't break into canter and he did move forward. So, and he did lengthen his stride instead of kind of going faster, which was nice. Um, again, free walk was really nice. The canter, this whole like moving your hands forward in the canter over the, over the center line, I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing there. So I hope I did it right. I was just like, um, I asked Meg, um, Elphick Event Ponies, because she does, actually does eventing and she said to do it for like three strides. So I tried to do it for that. Hopefully I did it right. I don't know if you're meant to put your hands more towards the bit or up their neck. I don't know, I kind of went up his neck, but I'm thinking maybe I should have put it towards the bit. But anyway, it didn't say in the test, so it just said give and retake the reins. So that's what I did. Um, and then, yeah, like all the transitions, nice. He was really good going across the diagonal because I've been doing loads of flying changes with him recently, but I just tried to hold him in a bit of a counter counter type position. And then he didn't change. He just stayed in the counter until I asked him to trot. Um, that's where I had to trot and then re canter. Um, going back into canter wasn't so smooth. He kind of like scooted, which I wasn't super happy with. But yeah, overall, like obviously the prelim is probably gonna sc score higher just because like the novice had like some harder movements, like the medium, trot and canter and the giving or take and the trotting over the x over the center line and stuff but um overall i'm really happy with him um it seems we haven't prepared at all uh, this is my first time doing the test so <laughs> wasn't the best preparation but anyway yeah so i'm happy i'm very happy with him this is actually my last day riding him before i go to australia mm, so sad anyway i will see you in the future when i have my results and i'll be hopefully talking to you from Australia, I think. No, I'll be out of quarantine by then, I think. So, yeah, we kind of fixed interesting. Um, yeah, see you then. Also, the carrots um, riding leggings, 10 out of 10 for stickiness. They're um, really nice. They've got a sticky kind of bum and inside of your leg. And I find sometimes sticky jaws like that, they're too sticky, like you almost can't rise and you can't really move. But these are just kind of the right amount. You know, I feel really secure, but I also can actually move. Um, so yeah, really nice. And then obviously the top, I thought it looked really smart in the video, which was nice. And yeah, it's keeping me super cool 
even though it's kind of raining it's really humid so i'm actually quite hot but um yeah i'm feeling sweat free which is nice that was too much information i'm sorry guys <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here in Australia. I made it. Thank you guys. Thank you for all the support in my last few videos. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you guys about the test a little bit. Um, it was really interesting hearing what I thought after the test and then reading the comments because I really, like we definitely agreed, me and the judge. Um, the two things I said was bat like lack, lack of balance and also um, he was in a supple over his back in the canter and they were like the two comments that I got um, Yeah, I really seem to have picked up <laughs> like the things that weren't so good like the transition From trot to canter when I had to change the rein. I said it, that didn't feel so good and the judge also commented on that um, It was nice to get um, some 7.5s for our free walk and the judge did like they stretched down but as I said um, he was just slightly behind the vertical and they really want their nose sticking out, which is quite hard. I'm not really sure how I should go about that because it's really hard to like get my reins long enough. <laughs> anyway, it's something to work on. So one thing I did not get right was saying that my prelim would score much higher than my novice because we actually scored really, really similar. In the prelim, um, we got a 70% on the dot. And in the novice, I got 70.32%. So it actually scored better in the novice, which was really surprising. But it's really nice to see that um, we are like consistently in the 70% in both levels. So like, I thought the novice is like quite a bit of a step up from the prelim. Like, you know, you have the medium trot, the medium canter, um, some just more difficult movements. So yeah, I'm really, really delighted with the scores. We actually ended up coming first and second, um, actually joint second. So that was really, really great and such a nice result. So I'll be getting my rosettes in the post. I'll be sending them to Ireland though, so I won't have them here, but um, yeah, I'll be so excited to get them. I'm so, so proud of him. The other thing I really need to work on is my kind of tempo because um, as you can see in the comments, I was kind of pushing him a little bit on too fast and that was not helping with our balance at all. So um, I need to just like take a little bit steadier. I, I have noticed this when I watched dressage tests that say in the canter, um, they canter quite slowly. Like I feel like people in dressage tests canter very slowly. But like that is a working canter, I suppose. Um, whereas my working canter when I'm cantering around is like the canter I would ride to a fence at, which is like a lot more like tempo to it. But when you're in quite a small dressage um, arena and you're trying to do all your circles and everything, the tempo is just a little bit fast. And it definitely caught me out a few times just with like movements coming up really, really quickly and I'm not having enough time to like think about it. Um, so yeah, for the future, a little bit slower tempo and that'll also make my medium canter, medium trot more clear and more expressive. So it'll be a win-win. So yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, yeah, I've got really nice comments. The comments on the novice, I'm just going to read it to you. It says, a quality horse, obedient throughout, could develop a greater degree of balance within the canter, like I was saying, um, to help develop the activity and allow the balance to be maintained through transitions and movements. Yeah, it's definitely my transitions I need to work on. Rhythmic and correct, lots to like. So really nice comments. Um, it's a nice little ego boost um, when people say nice things about your horse. <laughs> um, so delighted, definitely gonna do a few when I'm back in Ireland, I suppose. I'm also gonna try and loan a horse here, guys. I'm like, I'm on it. I'm like really settled in. I have everything in my life mostly sorted. So now it's time for me to find a horse to ride. So if I find a horse, then I might do some more of these and it'd be so much fun. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next video, which I'm not sure what it'll be. Maybe it'll be when I get a lone horse. So um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with that. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.